A new facility is now open on Madison's east side, designed to take a portion of the city's homeless population, give them a place to sleep, and help them get clean. New at 10, the night team's Theo Keith shows us how it got one man on the right track. Theo? Eric, there is a lot of talk in this town, has been for years, about helping the homeless. This new building is walking the walk. It wasn't that long ago that Isaac Schuler wasn't guaranteed to reach life's next chapter. I was drinking real heavy. But he got there. I knew that I couldn't drink and come here. When one of 48 beds went to him. I jumped for it. I haven't looked back since. Schuler was homeless in Madison for five years. I've been out on the streets so long that I almost wanted to give up, but I didn't. About 10 months ago, he came to Porchlight's Safe Haven program. He got a place to stay and to get sober. I've been down so low that I couldn't go no lower. All I could do was come up. <laughs> On a chilly spring morning, advocates for Madison's homeless made progress. In one part of the new building is low-income housing. The rest of the units help people with addictions or mental illness, two top causes of being out on the streets. This is a great moment for the community of Madison in terms of the battle to reduce homelessness in Dane County. It is just a start. Some estimate that 400 people don't have a place to stay in Madison on any given night. But this building will help single adults like Schuler. I'll be 61 this year. In August, and too bad that it took me this long to get my head together and try to move forward. He's moving toward a GED later this year and going to addiction recovery meetings, saying he wants to inspire others to clean up. I'm through with that kind of life, and I haven't made it yet, but I'm doing much, much better. Private donations paid for most of the project's $4 million cost, Eric. And we appreciate Mr. Schuler sharing that story with us. Absolutely. Great rebound. Theo, thank you. Yeah.